it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. at KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting with Kasten. Can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Thank you for having me, it's great to be here. Uh, I'm Neeraj Tolia, I'm co-founder and CEO at Kasten. Kasten is a cloud native startup. We are focused on cloud native data management. So what it really means for customers using Kubernetes today, how do we make backup, disaster recovery, application mobility very easy for them? And how do you fit into the uh, Kubernetes ecosystem and you know, what problems do you solve? Okay, so we fit into the Kubernetes ecosystem first of all from the enterprise customer perspective. We address problems with data management for them. So as more production applications are entering the environment, you have issues with accidental and malicious data loss, you have issues with disaster recovery, if site failures happen, test dev use cases, and that's squarely what we focus on today, to how to make this easy, how to do this securely, and how to do this at scale. And I understand you had some announcements uh, around the show. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can share that with our listeners. Of course. So very recently, we just launched the 2.0 version of our product. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We've been very wo working with a large number of enterprise customers, and what really resonated with them, what really helped them, is security and simplicity. So those are the two main things that showed up. From the simplicity perspective, we believe that in this new world, you need to not only integrate with the rest of the ecosystem, but you need a very easy install process. So we are up and running in five minutes or less, and then we also should be protecting your application in the next five minutes and then continued ease of use in terms of operations. So that was the simplicity aspect. From the security side of things, a lot of work went in to make this multi-tenant. When you have multiple roles in sensitive environments, think financials as an example, how do you do role-based access control? How do you authenticate with, with, with systems such as OpenID Connect, OAuth, Okta, OneLogin, et cetera? Apart from running air, in air-gapped environments, running with TLS, AES-256 encryption, so an end-to-end -end security story is wasn't the other critical component of uh, our recent release. And uh, would it be possible for us to take a look at the product, maybe get a demo? Definitely. So what are you going to show us? So today we're going to demonstrate the K10 platform, which is our enterprise platform offering for data management and for Kubernetes and OpenShift. And we'll walk through a simple backup workflow to talk about the simplicity and security aspects we just covered recently. Great. So in this particular scenario, we're going to take an off-the-shelf application, a complex one like GitLab, and show how you protect it in our system. So the first thing to notice is when you go look at a dashboard, we ought to discover all the applications and all the components within it all the storage components, but also the Kubernetes config, secrets, custom resources. So all of that is gathered in the system. But, and so no changes are required from the developer, from the deployment pipeline. To protect this, we're going to create what we call a policy in the system. So this policy, you don't need to specify volumes, you don't need to specify uh, pods, you just give the policy a name. Tell the policy what you want to do, in this case backup, how often you want to do it hourly, sub-hourly, things of that nature. The retention period for your snapshot, both from the cost and compliance reason. And then you can either pick applications by name, what we're doing as GitLab, or we could also use labels if it wanted more generic policies. There's also filtering if you want to include or exclude something, but in this case, we're just going to protect the entire application for ease of use. As you see, that was all that was needed from the policy definition perspective. But everything underneath the hood is driven by a Kubernetes native API that you can apply R back to, so this is a YAML example. And throughout the dashboard, we have breadcrumbs that show you how to do this from the command line if you wanted to. So it covers the full spectrum of automation to point and click using a dashboard today. Once the policy is created, you see a backup job uh, gets started that captures all the components of the GitLab application. 
it, the data volume, the specs, and when you click on it, there's a lot more information available. You see all the phases that happen in the workload, all the snapshots that were created, this is in Google Cloud, as well as all the Kubernetes specs in the system. And where can our viewers go if they want to find out more information about Kasten and some of the things we talked about today? So we would love to hear from you. You can find us in a variety of different places. Go to our website, first of all, at kasten.io. That's K-A-S-T-E-N.io. But you can also find us on Twitter, on LinkedIn. And so feel free to reach out to us. We would love to talk to you more. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with Thank DM you Blanc. so much for having me. Really appreciate it.